All right, it is Tecmo Tuesday, and it is the final week of the 1976 season of Tecmo Tuesday, <clears throat> and we are playing against the New England Patriots. To close out the season, there are also <laughs> three games technically in Week 15, 16, and 17. That makes up the last of the Week 14 games. It's just the way they had to set it up for the uh, to make it so it was a 14-game season. Uh, this game will uh, we'll see what happens here in this Rams Lions game. If the Lions win, then we'll be playing for the division. If the Rams win, then we pretty much got the division. Uh, actually, yeah, like we'll have the division wrapped up if we uh, even if we lose. So here we go. Let's. Oh, I didn't auto skip. All right. So we'll see what happens here in kind of slow motion. And the Lions won. They came back with a seventeen point fourth quarter. Unbelievable. So they were down twenty one to seven in the fourth. And then they came back and won. Holy shit. All right, so um, let's simulate the rest of this week in auto-skip form. This is it. That means that this is it, that we've got to win this game. We're coming off of a tough loss to the Steelers. We gotta, we, we've got to win to get the division. Otherwise, we're going to be playing in week uh, in, in the wild card round. Crazy to think that because we've had... Uh, <clears throat> Not a stranglehold, but we've had first place <clears throat> this whole time. So the Lions have a half game over us right now with their win. We've got our game now against uh, the Patriots, who are also 9-4. and four. So this game, to say that this is uh, a big game is an understatement. It's a massive understatement. So this is it for the, for the Central. And the Patriots, I mean, they're not going to... Uh, they're not going to win the East, but they can definitely go into the final week with some, uh, go into the playoffs with some momentum. By sp and by playing spoiler at the same time. Ah, oh, shit. That is not a good start. I remember these Patriots, they gave me problems... Uh, when I was with the Colts, they had that, there was that one week where, in the first season, I remember it very vividly, we, they, they were 0-9 or 0-10, some shit like that, and they beat the shit out of us. And, look at this, Johnson's gonna just go crazy up the fucking gut, well, it wasn't up the gut, it was off tackle, but now it's up the gut of the field, and just like a long-ass touchdown... This is shades of um, old school Tecmo Tuesdays, isn't it? Where we give up a huge run on the first drive, give up a touchdown in some fashion, but a but a big ass run like that, of course, is how it had to happen. Oh yeah, John Smith, the kicker for the Patriots. I met him once. Uh, good guy. He was running a uh, he or he was. What was the situation? He, I think he owned the building, or he he directed the. Yeah, I think it was. I think he owned the building that was hosting a judo tournament that I was at. It was some shit like that. So I met him and told him, "Nice to meet you. I am not a Patriots fan." And I, uh, oh shit, I got sacked just now. And we had a, you know, it was a, <laughs> a funny conversation because he had, uh, he loathed and continues to loathe the Raiders because of the, uh, there's a first down, nice fucking catch on a third down, that's the, we were in third and long. Because the, this 76 season was a very controversial victory for the Raiders in the playoffs over the Patriots. And, uh, he, you know, he was on the team, obviously, 76, uh, team. So he did not remember that game fondly. And I told him, you know, I understand. But I, on the other hand, was I'm still bitter about the tuck rule. To this day, even. Oh, what the fuck? See, look at that cheap shot artist motherfucker. Knocks, knocks him down well after the play. But you know what? Fuck you, we got the touchdown. You know, it's, it's funny. It's like, this is the... Ah, oh, mother of a fuck. So we do not... We did not tie the game. 
That's going to be the first mix, mi missed extra point for Rotor of the season, because I'm I, 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 pretty sure he's got them all in. There was, uh, if I remember back to the when I looked at the stats, uh, like the scoring leaders, uh, that he was perfect on extra points and only missed one field goal. You know what's funny is the Grogan is the quarterback for the Patriots uh, in this game in 1976, and he's also the quarterback for the Patriots in uh, in Tecmo 91, the regular Tecmo game. So, you know, 15 years later, he's still slinging the ball. And, and playing long careers like that was not as common back then because the game was so much more fucking brutal. Oh, I thought I had a pick there. I was lined right up for it. <clears throat> I, you know, it's like, ah, uh, I, even though we, you know, you gotta score a touchdown before you can go for two, but it's like, I wanna go for two and make up for that missed extra point, because that is like one of those things where you, you know, it's like, it's gonna haunt you the whole game, but you know what, though, it's early, I don't like to go for two early in games, even if it's to make up points like that, it's like, you find yourself chasing that point down the road, um, On a lot, a lot of the time. Nice catch by Williams. Big first down. All right, let's try to get the lead here. It's been tough running the ball lately, the last few weeks. And that run in particular, it's like the guys just storm in, and then I have to go around. By the time I get lined up back with the field again, the guys catch up, and I don't usually get a lot of, on the yards department. Maybe I ought to change that play. All right, there we go. I was a little worried about the, you know, throwing it early and 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 causing him to overthrow him, but he was on target there. So that's a nice pass by Spurrier. Very important, not just to win the division here and like get make that happen, but it's also um, to get confidence back in the offense. Not to mention the defense. And up, oh, we got a Piper who's down. Jesse Phillips. Oh, they got Stingley on this team. That's right. He. Uh, Unfortunately, went down for, uh, you know, a career-ending injury to Jack Tatum, who just fucking smashed him unnecessarily in a uh, preseason game. I know it was a different game back then, you know, it was a very different, you know, dirty hits were commonplace, and they, 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 they were just way more aggressive to begin with. Oh, man. And there's Stingley there on the right, you know, speaking of which... Oh, come on, I did not dive. Oh, shit, he just blasted through everybody. And again, Johnson, he's... Ugh. This run game is is a nightmare here. They, they These guys are fast. And powerful. Apparently, they just blasted through several defenders. I'm telling you, if I if I lose this game and the division because of that extra point, I'm not going to be a happy camper. I just gotta get the ball out of there. Oh, no! No! He came out of the goddamn blue. Oh, man. That is not good. Oh. Like, I thought that was a safe pass. I did not see that there were defenders behind him. I thought they were all tied up with the guys that were deep. And look at this. A touchdown right after that. Shit.
Ugh. And I was hoping for like a shitty kick just to like give me a look at this. I'm like in like in my end zone here. I do want to pass it though just because Um, I don't want to risk a fumble, and I don't want to get, uh, if I do get blitzed here, I can get rid of the ball quickly. Just gonna try a, you know, a duck and chuck. Oh, man. Man, that, that, it's been, uh, rough going here these last couple weeks and the end of the half, uh... They're, they're just the turnovers, they killed us. That one, though, it's like, it's funny because I, I, I decided against throwing deep. And I then I checked it down. No, it wasn't really a check down. It's just that I went with the intermediate route because I saw that he was by himself. Oh, man, now we got injuries piling up. Man. Uh, I really should have backups as my return man at all times because that can, you know, having an injury on a return. And it seems, it seems like the return game has just, as, as, even though the plays happen way less, it seems like they just happen just as often and holy shit again. And that pass was off target too. It did not go in the direction that it was initially intended to. Oh man, Williams is slow as fuck. He must his physical condition must be low. Um, let's take a look at what's going on here. Oh yeah, he's in bad. Shit, should I put McNeil in? Yes, I should. All right, we're gonna. I hate to take starters out of the game, but I mean, look at this shit. We've got uh, you know Carter's hurt, um, and Williams is just slow as as shit. Uh, so, you know, man, he's in bad condition, so I don't, I don't, I definitely don't want him to get hurt in time for the playoffs. This is a very important game here in the regular season, and we're trailing. Just get the first down. Oh, come on! You know, again, I, I didn't want I, I, I decided against going to Owens deep, because I saw that, uh, the, the tight end was, was, was open in the middle. And I was like, alright, just, again, I'm not big on Spurrier's deep throws, it's not the, always the most reliable. So I was like, all right, if I throw it to the tight end here, I'll at least get the first down, and we can go from there, pick up the, you know, pick it up from there. But the fucking defender jumped up and blocked it. Ah, oh, look at that nice block by the goddamn fucking lineman, and now he's gonna take it, isn't he? Ugh. One way or another, these Patriots just love to fuck me. Ugh. I hate them so much. I don't, you know, I, I don't care if it's Tecmo, if it's Madden, if it's real life, if it's, you know, the, uh... If, if what era it is, like I, I, I whether even the the 80, late 80s and early 90s when they were brutally bad, I did not feel bad for them at all. I'll go, I'll happily go back and watch the 1992 uh, highlight video package of the for the New England Patriots. The 1990 season was also a wonderful one where they were one in 15. Fuck them. It's funny saying that because I live in New England and I love all three of the other major uh, sports uh, Boston teams. I actually went to a Red Sox game last night. They are, they lost. They are not doing well as of this recording. And there's a fucking pick. But the one that I, you know, it, it, the sport that is most important to me the fo in football... The, you know, there's, of course, the one where they're the most successful, and, uh, you know, I would trade all the other championships that the, uh, the Celtics, Red Sox, and a fumble! Come on, somebody get it! Alright. I would trade away all the Celtics, 
Red Sox and Bruins championships that I've seen happen in my lifetime for just one Raiders Super Bowl in a heartbeat. Oh, what the hell, dude? He was wide open. Why did you throw it way off target like that? I'm trying to play again. I just feel good about the... the how. And, of course, now they're all covered. Come on, Johnson. Ugh. Come on, Williams. Oh, it's McNeil. Ah, oh, man, he got eaten alive. All right, I'm kicking the field goal because it's, it's a fucking three-score game anyway, so let's make it a two-score game. And now we have to score two touchdowns, but, you know, it's like we would have anyway. I know I could kick it onside, but I, I actually like our chances better of forcing punts at this point. Or getting a, maybe another freak turnover, you know? It's like I, a three and out is not impossible. Despite the fact they've had some great drives. Oh, come on, you guys had him. You had him. Yeah, they just keep going to the run because it's been fucking us up. All right. Come on, guys. One more. One more here. Yes! All right. I mean, I know it's a long shot that we can even make this happen, but it would be a heroic and classic victory if we can... If we can do something here. We gotta score quick, though. Gotta score quick and definitely kick onside because there's just, like, <laughs> it's just a lack of time. And... Come on. Oh, it was over his head. He did try the, the leap, though. He did try that. And he's gotten those catches before the season. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought they were blitzing. Oh, come on, dude. I know it was a diving attempt that you had to make happen. But, you know, you were there and you were open. You didn't need to make that catch. All right, that's good for now. Oh, there it goes, though. Damn it. All right, so, you know, all the whatever hope was there is completely pissed away now. Look at this. He's shrugging everybody off. He wants that touchdown bad, and that seals it. Damn, damn, damn. We cannot win a division in Tecmo Tuesday, can we? It's just like it's against the rules. We just they won't let us do it. Well, at least this. I'll say this much. That extra point is not the reason why we lost, and was not the difference. We don't have to go to bed knowing that, uh, you know, that that was what did it in for us. It was just simply... Oh, you know what? I probably ought to put the backups in just to avoid more injuries at this point. Like, fucking Spurrier getting destroyed back there. Let's just do it right now. I mean, it's... I already got backups in here, though. I gotta remember to, to, to change this up, though, again, before, uh, before the playoffs. In fact, I'm gonna do it before the end of this video. Holy shit, like, welcome to the NFL, Dickinson. Everybody's completely covered. Once again, everybody's completely covered. Fourth down, but you know what? <laughs> it was a difference. If we turn it over on downs back here, or turn it over in any capacity. And a pass block. That's a nice way right there to end the regular season. Nice pass block. Damn, so just a, a rough outing again to another AFC contender. Threw for th 124 yards and a 35% completion percentage, two picks. Yuck. Uh, so we in 17 yards rushing just I mean we had to give up on the running game uh, you know in the third quarter late third quarter I, I want to say um, so but even when we st even with it I mean that's still just like that's like two yards a carry so the running game has sucked lately and we have not 
you know, four first downs. I know that's touchdowns should count as first downs, and they don't. So it was really, you know, six to, uh, well, there was a defensive touchdown on there, so another four. So seven to five, or seven to six, whatever the hell. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Uh, we gave up 100 yards rushing to Andy Johnson, and not to mention Cunningham had some rush, had some good runs against us. We could not defend that. Um, we defended the pass okay, but, you know, again, the running game, not so much. So the Detroit Lions will win the NFC Central. Let's simulate the rest of this shit and then see who we will be playing against in the first round. I want to say, because we are the, we will we'll be the but we might not even be the fourth seed, you know, because you got the Cardinals. Cardinals uh, might win, and we'll take the fifth, in which case we'll be playing the Bears, maybe. Oh, the Bears would be sixth. We might be playing the Cardinals. All right, let's simulate these final weeks. San Francisco, New Orleans. Oh, did uh, the Rams play their game? Yeah, they're 8-6, and six, so the 49ers could... Well, it's a 51-point differential. The 49ers are only... Yeah, they have to... Uh... They have to win by quite a bit. And they won by 10. It's not going to uh, make up enough of a difference. So the Cardinals won their game. They'll be uh, the fourth seed. And so I think we'll be playing uh, not Arizona, St. Louis. So Washington and Dallas. We'll simulate this one. And now we're going to get the, uh, the, the, sim the the division winning graphics for all six division winners in a row here because of the way that, it, you know, everything was lined up. So we got the Steelers. It'll be the Raiders, the Cowboys, the Lions. God damn it. And then finally the Rams. Man, tough, tough uh, way to close out the season. And it's funny because we shut out the Raiders 13-0. And I thought we were heading into the home stretch looking pretty good, you know. We were getting our wind back on our sails. And then it was that fumble against the goddamn Steelers in that second-to-last game that swung the momentum of that game and it swung the momentum of the rest of the, you know, the, the following game, too. So, yuck. We got to turn it around. We got to change up the... Uh, Changed up the momentum going to the playoffs. So here we go. Bills and Patriots are in. Then it will be Steelers and Browns. 10 and 4, 9 and 5 apiece. And then the Raiders and Broncos get in. You know what? It's, <laughs> this is funny. If I had gone through with the four game C, uh, 14 playoff, we would not be in. So, I mean, it's another reason to be happy about the fact that, uh, you know, I decided not to do that. So, we'll have Patriots and Broncos to start things off. Browns and Bills. And then, yeah, we'll be playing the Cardinals. And then Bears and Rams will be playing while the Cowboys and the Detroit Lions get the bye. The Lions getting the bye. That's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, a crazy thought. So, what I'm going to do is next week... Um, normally, I mean, every Tecmo Tuesday that has happened so far, I happen to be playing in the first wild card game of the AFC, where the Patriots and Broncos are playing, and that game would happen first. So, just so happened that every week that would happen, I my game was the first one to 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 um to be played. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm once again I'm still going to record and commentate the three other. Playoff games, the Pats, Broncos, the Browns and Bills, and then the Bears and Rams. But, I mean, it's uh, I, I can't change the order of it. The Patriots and Broncos game will happen first. However, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to put, put... I'm going to change up the order for the sake of the video. So, the Cardinals and Buccaneers game will take place first. I'm just going to swap it out for the in post just for the sake of the for the of the video. So you don't have anybody that does not want to watch these computer simulated games, you don't have to. I'm going to uh to, to put this game first. And then uh and then I'm gonna, you know, go through the other three and kind of swap out the order around. 
and I'm going to avoid spoilers, uh, you know, in case you do want to watch those other three games. Anyway, that's it for uh, for this week. Oh, yes, I'm going to check out the final leaderboard uh, situation here of you know for the for the stats. So Bradshaw had the for, oh yeah, yeah we Spurrier was ranked second in quarterback rating, but holy shit, it took a dip down to eighth place. It was those interceptions. He had I I think I had two. I think you had only two picks, four of them ever since then. When I last checked, got jumped by a bunch of other guys. So yeah, that can do it. That can. The, the, I mean, that was what was carrying him. I think scoring. Um, yeah, there's Rota right there. Yes, that extra point was the only extra point that he had missed. He only missed one field goal as well. So he did pretty well uh, overall. Interceptions, uh, yeah, we don't get a lot of those. Wait a minute, did I see somebody at the bottom there? No, I didn't. Punt returns. McKay has a 6.7 yard average and ranked 21st. Kickoff returns, I think it's somewhere in the you know in the lower half as well. Did I miss him? Mm -hmm. That's weird. He dropped out of the rankings altogether. All right. That's, uh, hey, it happens. Uh, Sacks, yeah, we're not going to have everybody on that list. Punting will be at the top. Yeah, 63-yard average. That's only 10 punts. Is that correct? Yeah, 10 punts. So out of 14 games, we had, uh, oops, I missed the uh, last two, the big ones. The rushing champion. OJ Simpson got it by 10 yards. Yeah, Johnson got a lot of those yards in the final week of the season against us, that's for sure. Uh, oof, woof. That was tough. Yeah, we don't have anybody in the top 30 of rushing. And then as far as receiving goes, 27th. So, that's it for the regular season of this 1976 Tampa, Buc Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, run at it, the, the first year expansion team. We made it to the playoffs, you know, it's like it was a rough final couple of weeks that knocked us into the wild card round. So, hey, we'll have a chance to, to beat these Cardinals and go up against our division rival, who we haven't played yet because we've only been playing AFC teams based on the way that they work the schedule. Um, so, you know, one game at a time, we'll try to take care of the Cardinals, but I am going to also uh, change up the, uh, the, the, the starters situation here. So yes, yeah, so let's reset that shit. And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to make an adjustment here. I'm going to put backups in as my return men. Just so that way I don't lose starters due to kickoff returns or any of that shit. So, that's it for this week. That's it for the regular season. I'll see you in the playoffs.